Hey there, third grade mathematicians. It's Mr. Tang welcoming you back for another week of math here on BCPS TV. Today, we'll have our very own extraordinary Mr. Pisac with us. I can't wait. Our lessons for this week focus on the three read strategy to help us with problem solving. The one we'll be diving into today is the first lesson for the week of June 8th through June 12th. So to set the stage for what we will be doing today, you will be looking at using the three read strategy to solve real world problems involving mass. The three read strategy is a strategy similar to what you use in ELA, English Language Arts, to better break down, analyze, and understand text. So without further ado, let's pass it on to Mr. Pisac for more on a three read strategy. Today, we will use the three read strategy to solve word problems. Remember that the three read strategy has multiple steps. The first step is read to make sense. When we read the problem the first time, we want to read the entire problem and find think about what it's about. Ask yourself, what is happening in the problem? What is the action taking place? This will help us think about what math we're going to do later. Try to describe the problem in your own words. You may even want to make a picture in your head. And finally, ask yourself what questions you have after reading the problem. Do you need any more information? Do you need to find something that might be missing? Let's use this strategy with the following problem. As I read it aloud, think about what you do you notice and what do you wonder. Roberta wanted to find the difference between the weight of the potato chips and the weight of the nacho chips. How much heavier is the larger bag? The first thing I noticed when reading the problem is that it's about a girl named Roberta. I also noticed that we have a bag of potato chips and a bag of nacho chips in the problem. Mmm, I love nachos. Down at the bottom, I see that we have multiple bags of chips in the table. We have barbecue, cheese crackers, potato chips, and nacho chips. I also saw some words in there that might be important. Difference and weight. But what I don't see is the weight of each of the bags. That seems to be covered up. So I don't know if I can solve my question yet. I think we might need more information. One thing I did when reading was make a picture in my head. Based on what I noticed, I drew a girl because it said there was a girl named Roberta, and I drew the two bags of chips, the potato chips and the nacho chips, because she's thinking about which bag is heavier. What did the picture you made in your head look like? We are now going to read the problem a second time. This time, we're going to read carefully for details that will help us solve the problem. First off, let's think about what do the numbers in the problem represent? Oh, there are some new numbers that just appeared. What kind of problem is it? What do I need? How might I structure it to solve it? Let's look for some important vocabulary, words, charts, or graphs for more information. We're going to star the parts of the text we understand, and we're go what is the information needed to solve the problem? We're going to put a question mark next to text that we might need to do more, know more about or we may not understand. Let's read the question again 
and look for those details. Roberta wanted to find the difference between the weight of the potato chips and the weight of the nacho chips. How much heavier is the larger bag? And again, we have a table down here that shows us four types of chips, the weight of each bag, and how many come in a box. So I, again, see the important vocabulary of difference. That's telling me I might need to subtract to answer my question. So this might be a subtraction problem. What are subtraction strategies do you have? I need to find, I know potato chips and nacho chips. So she's comparing those two. And she wants to know how much heavier is the larger bag. So I need to figure out which bag is larger. So I need to find the potato chips and the nacho chips. And now I have the new information about the weight. So the potato chips weigh 187 grams and the nacho chips weigh 205 grams. I added the new information we learned to my drawing. The potato chips, I wrote 187 underneath because that's the weight of the potato chips. And the nacho chips, I wrote 205 because that's the weight of the bag of nacho chips. Okay, now we're going to read the problem one more time. And again, we're going to read, the third time we read is read to represent. Let's think about the information from the problem to represent it with a drawing. What operations we do we think we may need to use to solve the problem? What do we know about these operations? Are there different properties or is there a specific problem type we might need to use? Label all the information we know. So as I read, think about what operation might we use to solve the problem? Roberta wanted to find the difference between the weight of the potato chips and the weight of the nacho chips. How much heavier is the larger bag? Again, I see the word difference, which means I'm subtracting because difference is a compare word. And I'm comparing the weight of the potato chips. and the weight of the nacho chips. And that information was in the table below. So the nacho chips are 205 grams and the potato chips are 187 grams. So I'm thinking I need to solve 205 minus 187. But I also know that addition is the opposite or inverse of subtraction. So I might think of it as 187 plus something equals 205. So you can see on my drawing, I now have my model, my nacho chips minus my potato chips to give me the difference between the two. Again, I can think of it as 205 minus 187, or I can think of it as 187 plus something equals 205. Now we are ready to solve the problem. Finally, man, we've done a lot of work. So to, in order to do that, we're going to try and be as accurate and precise as possible. 
We're going to follow all the directions and complete all parts of the problem. We're going to use equations, expressions, explanations, or justifications if we need to. And we're going to use correct math vocabulary symbols and numbers when we're solving the problem. So again, here's our problem. Roberta wanted to find the difference between the weight of the potato chips and the nacho chips. And we want to know how much heavier is the larger bag. We know the nacho chips are larger because 205 is greater than 187. One way we can solve our problem is using a place value model. Remember, we are solving 205, the weight of the nacho chips, minus 187, the weight of the potato chips. My place value model shows the weight of the nacho chips to help me get started. Now I'm going to subtract 100 by crossing out that big hundreds flat. That takes care of this one in the hundreds plate from the potato chips. Now I'm going to cross out eight tens in the other flat to show the 80 from the potato chip bag. So here's eight tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So cross that out. What's left? Seven ones. So I can cross them out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I haven't crossed out, or what's left, tells me the difference. So I have three ones, a ten left in that flat, and then five loose ones. So that's three plus ten plus five. When I put that all together, that's eight. Well, 18 what? Think about our problem. We were finding the difference between the nacho chips and the potato chips. So we now know that the nacho chips are 18 grams heavier than the potato chips. The last step in our process we're almost there is to check our work. This is super important to make sure we solve the problem and that it makes sense. So to do that, we're going to reread the problem and think about our answer and see, make sure we use all the information from the problem to answer it, that the answer makes sense, that we answered all parts of the problem, one way to do that, we can think, can we solve it another way? And do we get the same answer solving it another way? So here's our problem. Roberta wanted to find the difference between the weight of the potato chips and the weight of the nacho chips. How much heavier is the larger bag? We said that the nacho chip bag weighs 18 grams more. So we used the information from the potato chips and the nacho chips, which was 205 minus 187, to come up with our answer of 18, which does make sense because 187 isn't that far away from 205. But let's solve it another way just to make sure. One way to solve this is using a number line and adding up. Remember, addition is the inverse or opposite of subtraction. So I can think of it as 187 plus what equals 205. 
So I can start on my number line as 187. Then what? We're going to jump up three to get to 190, which is a nice friendly number. So I've added three. Now I'm going to jump to 200, because that's only 10 more than 190, and it's less than 205. So there's plus 10. And now I just need to add five more to get to my end point, 205. So again, I have plus three, plus 10, plus five. So 10 plus three plus five equals 18. So my answers match, and I'm pretty confident that my answer is correct. Wow, Mr. Pizek, it's always so much fun learning from you. Well, boys and girls, now it's your turn. In the triad section of your Schoology page, there will be an assignment in the form of a PowerPoint. Complete the triad question assigned to you by your teacher using the draw tools found in PowerPoint. When you're feeling confident and ready to, move on to the Show What You Know section in Schoology and complete the formative assessment there. Make sure to read the directions carefully and take your time. As always, if you have access, you should be completing six to eight Dreambox lessons a week. Well, boys and girls, that's it from us for this week. And on behalf of your friends here at BCPS Math, we want you to know that you are so loved, that you are so important, and that you hold the future in your hands. So stay safe, be kind, and do the math.